Hey Crush, here's your video for the week. I'll keep it pretty short this week. It went pretty long last week. Let's see it short and sweet. Um, one, remember that the March challenge uh, started, it's not really a March challenge, it's going to be every month. If you attend 20 more classes in a month, your name is put into a hat, you draw a winner every month, and they get $25 off their next month's membership. So if you come a bunch, you might save some money in your membership. Uh, two, the nutrition seminar is a week from the time you get this video in the newsletter, a week from Saturday. It'll be on March 11th at 9 a.m. It'll be about an hour long. Um, you know, feel free to bring questions. Uh, you know, anything you want to talk about nutrition. I, I lost well over 100 pounds. I've kept it off. I've tried the keto diet. I've tried high carb diet. I've tried low carb. I've, I've done whole 30s. Uh, I currently track my macros. I've done quite a few things, and I can at least tell you what's worked for me. Uh, things I've read, things I've tried, uh, you know, the various results and stuff I had with them and, and how they've affected me in the gym, all that kind of stuff. So if you have questions, definitely bring those. We'll start a little bit after 9 o'clock. We'll kind of let the Saturday class clean out, and then we'll get around the whiteboard, pull out some boxes and grab a chair and grab a seat and uh, talk about nutrition. That's on the 11th, 9 a.m. So just jumping into the workouts really quick. Uh, Monday, we have a 32-minute EMOM. It's kind of been a while since we've done one of these. I used to like to do these a lot. Three minutes are pretty high heart rate type stuff. And then the fourth minute is some lifting, which is also going to be higher heart rate stuff. It's going to be a pretty tough EMOM to pass. It's going to be jumping rope, Russian kettlebell swings, stick jumps or ski jumps, and thrusters. On Tuesday, we're going to do lots of waves this month. Waves meaning um, you lift at higher rep and the rep weight, the reps go down while your weight increases. And then you do the those same rep scheme again, maybe once or twice or three times. So on Tuesday, we're going to do push press waves. You're going to, we're going to give you time to warm up to a heavy set of five push press. And then once everybody's set up, we'll do one set every two and a half minutes. We're going to take a little bit of time, let those muscles relax a little bit in those between those sets and hopefully recover and allow you to lift heavier. So a wave is, you let's say you warm up to 100 pounds, and that's your first set of five. Now we're going to do a set of four. So since you're doing less, you should be able to add some weight. Let's say you add 10 pounds. You do your set of four at 110 pounds. Then we're going to do a set of three. Let's say just less reps. You should be able to do more weight because it's fewer reps. Let's say you do your set of three at 120 pounds. So your first five, four, three was 100 at five, 110 at four, and 120 at three. We're going to do the five, four, three again, but it has to be heavier. So since you did 100 the last time for your set of five, you have to do something heavier than that for your next set of five. Maybe that, maybe that 120 pounds for your first, first set of three felt okay, and you do 120 pounds for your set of five. Now you got to add some weight. Let's say you do 130 pounds for your set of four, 150 pounds for your set of your last set of three. So five, four, three, five, four, three again. Trying to get heavier. That's a wave. We're gonna do push presses. And then there's also quite a few repeats. Uh, I was looking at the workouts we did last year, and there's some really good workouts, and I wanted to do them again. And and testing your fitness is a really good thing. Hopefully we can see some improvement in our fitness. And this is one of the reasons why we track scores on the whiteboard and why you should put it in a Zen planner is when we do repeat workouts, hopefully you have some score to shoot for and hopefully you beat that score and it shows that you've improved your fitness. Whether the previous time you couldn't lift a certain amount of weight and now you can, or the previous time you couldn't do pull-ups and now you can, or in this case you just get more reps than you got last time. Plus if you have a score to beat, you tend to push a little harder because you want to beat that score and intensity is really one of the major key uh, drivers, you know, things that, that CrossFit does that we, that we preach to continue to force adaptation and to continue to grow and get your, improve your fitness. So anyway, this is a repeat workout. It's one minute max hand release push-ups, one minute max box jumps, rest one minute. Two minutes max hand release push-ups, two minutes box jumps, rest two minutes, three minutes of each, rest two minutes, and then again, one minute of each. Total number of reps is your score. So there's lots of counting in your reps. Um, and on these, all these repeat workouts this month, I also note in Zen Planner the workout you should look up for last year just to check your score. On Wednesday, we're going to do back squat waves. So just like the push press, we're going to go 5-1, five, 5-1, one, five, one, and a third set of 5-1. So you're going to do a heavy set of 5, make a, add a bunch of weight because now you're just going to do one rep. Drop some weight back off, but that second set of five should be heavier than that first set of five. We're going to do that three times, again, going every two and a half minutes. And then the Metcon is 21.15.9 of handstand push-ups and hang power snatches, or maybe hand, there's an option for handstand push-ups that are scaled. 
two at mats, no more than two at mats for scaling for that to be RX. A lighter handstand or a hang power snatch, and then even one that's just gonna be push ups and a hang power snatch. The partner workout for the week is man makers. We're gonna do a lot of dumbbell stuff. We haven't done man makers in a while. We're gonna do those on Thursday. And teams of two, weighted pull ups, goblet squats, strict shoulder presses, and thrusters with some man makers mixed in. Um, it's gonna be kind of a long partner. It's gonna be a long partner workout, not a kind of, it's gonna be a long one. And then on Friday, we get to do uh, 50 minutes to find a heavy set, a heavy power clean and jerk. And then whenever you, whatever you find in that, you're gonna back off to 75%. We're gonna do grace, which is 30 power clean and jerks at 75% of whatever the heavy version you found um, in the strength part. That's your week. Have a good week, Crush.